Today we're going to discuss how to use OnPlan for scenario forecasting. And the particular scenario we're going to forecast is one in which there's a sales slowdown uh, and, the, and the company that we're modeling needs to take corrective measures in order to ensure they have sufficient cash runway. The model we're going to use is, is a standard one. Uh, we have some pricing assumptions. Uh, revenue here, it's around 600K and growing and 600K in monthly recurring revenue. We have a churn rate assumption. Uh, but one of the big drivers of this model is uh, that we have sales opportunities and we have a close rate for these opportunities, which generates new customers. Now, historically, our opportunity close rate is around 20%. We'll show the graph of this. And, um, but all of a sudden in April and then really in May, there's a significant drop in the close rate. And our sales team is indicating to us that they think this is going to persist for some long period of time. So um, the question is, how do we model this out and what corrective measures should we, uh, you know, how, how severe is this and what do we need to do to, in order to ensure the business is in a good position? Uh, before we uh, look at that, let's also take a look at the company's overall cash position and health. So first we'll look at cash. Um, we'll see that the company basically has positive, it's, it's running on a pretty thin um, cash basis uh, starting in, you know, like really uh, after June of 21. Uh, so not a lot of margin for error here. And if we look at our burn rate, we'll see the company is sort of flirting with being cash flow positive uh, starting around uh, Feb of 22, but it's, you know, there's not a lot of margin for error here. So let's look at what this sales slowdown, how this will impact um, the company and what measures we need to do to take corrective actions. To do this, we're going to create a new scenario. So we're currently in our base case scenario, and we'll click this Create Scenario button here. We'll call this Sales Slowdown as our scenario, and we're going to create this off of our base case scenario. Now, um, the thing about OnPlan is that um, scenarios are uh, actually uh, the same from a formula and from a structural perspective. They just differ with respect to the assumptions and the inputs that we're using. So now we're in our sales slowdown scenario. Now, the first thing that we're going to do here is we want to model the, um, uh, the impact of this slowdown. So we're going to go to our close rate. Uh, and over here, it's, it's over here. And uh, instead of this being 20% on an ongoing basis, we're going to um, now assume that this is going to be, let's say, 10%. Uh, and you'll see here it says this scenario. So this is only going to impact the sales slowdown scenario that we're currently in. And then uh, we will also go fill right. So this is going to take it to 10% across the board. And just to model this, we can, uh, to, to graph it, we'll just now add in our close rate here but we're going to do this in our slowdown. So you'll just see that we have it here now as well. Oh, hit the plus button. So you'll see this is the lower assumption now for our close rate. Now the question is, well, how does this impact revenue and how does this impact uh, our cash position? So we're, let's create a new chart on the revenue side uh, to compare the two. So we'll call this um, actually revenue scenarios. And uh, here we're going to look at total revenue in our um, base case. We'll add this one in and then we will look at total revenue in our slowdown case. And you'll see in our um, base case, uh, November 23, we're getting to 2.8 million of monthly recurring revenue, whereas in our slowdown, we're only getting to 1.5. So now the question is, well, how does this impact our cash? So let's again create a new chart and we'll call this um, cash scenarios and we'll look at ending cash um, here. So in our base case as we saw before the company is um, going to be pretty much uh, break even here. We saw this number this 148 before but let's add in our sales slowdown scenario now. And here you'll see there's an eight million dollar hole. So this is obviously going to be really problematic. So the question is, how does the company correct for this? So let me uh, open this column up over here, and we call it, we have a, a column called tier. And you'll see this tier scenario controller, we're on three now. 
Um, and this is really corresponding to, um, uh, in this case, we've set it to correspond to our hires. So we have a roster of 20 employees over here. Let me close this chart from the top. Um, and each of these employees has a different tier. And this tier is really um, the order in which we would consider terminating them in the event of a slowdown. So these are our core employees here. They all have tier one. These are tier twos. They could, they're on the fence. Uh, we may or may not need to, to terminate them. But if there is a slowdown, these would be the employees that we would do. Um, so uh, here in our, let's take a look at, um, uh, open up our cash position again. And we're going, and let me also first uh, take a look at our salary. Well, let's do um, salaries. So we'll create a new chart here called salary comparison, salary scenarios. And we have salary in our um, base case here. And then let's add in salaries in our, uh, slow, in our slowdown case as well. Now, for the moment, they're the same, but we're going to switch this, this controller up here to Tier 2 now. What this means is only Tier 2 employees um, are, are going to be kept. Uh, let me, uh, sorry, I have to add in, I didn't add in our um, salaries here for our um, slowdown. Forgot to hit the plus button. So here you'll see we now have uh, a reduction in salary. Now, if I was to further cut this down to tier one, you'll see instead of this being 140K, um, this, this will become, uh, this will get updated. And now we're at, uh, we, we've cut it down to 75K. So we would cut 100K of salaries in this scenario, but let's see uh, how deeply we need to cut. So we'll go back to um, tier two. Uh, which will put us, I believe, um, yeah, at 140k, so 35k of savings. Now we can see how this, uh, what this will look like on a, from a cash perspective. So we'll go back to our cash scenarios here, and you'll see it looks like we still have a negative six million dollar hole. So maybe we do need to go down to tier one here uh, in order to compensate in the business. And you'll see that this gets us to, uh, you know, uh, in our cash uh, sales slowdown we will get to October 22, um, but if, if, if we were to do this cut, whereas if we went to um, uh, tier two employees, uh, we would only make it um, to uh, November of 20. And just to see what this, um, and you'll see here um, that this is um, resulting in, uh, you know, is this a zero or a one here? So that's how you can use OnPlan both to understand the impact of changes um, on top line revenue growth, as well as to model what is the appropriate corresponding change that we need to take in the business uh, to ensure that the business um, can be an ongoing concern.